Hey guys, Bloomer here with a tutorial on how to play one of the strongest damage troopers in Super Squad and a great starter character for anyone picking up the game for the first time, Sarge. Today's video is just a basic tutorial to get you comfortable with the character with more in-depth guides coming in the future. As always, the game is still constantly being updated, so the numbers quoted may not be the exact same as when you're watching this, but the basic concept should remain the same, so with that said, let's jump into it. Sarge is a damage dealing machine in the game of Super Squad. He pumps out heavy damage consistently and isn't afraid to get close to the front lines to put pressure on anyone and everyone. Another member of the military faction, his primary fire comes from his SMG, dealing a whopping 20 damage per shot. With a rate of fire at 6.1, he can start laying into anyone unlucky enough to get within 20 meters of him. Although he only has 973 health, he also sports a second dodge if he ever finds himself too close to the front lines and in need of a quick exit. Sarge's moves are called Cluster Grenade and Suppressive Fire and fit in perfectly to just about any team comp. Cluster Grenade involves throwing a grenade at the target location which then explodes and splits into 8 additional grenades exploding around the original area of effect. The inner explosion currently does 110 damage and the outer explosion does 115. Suppressive Fire sends Sarge into a whirlwind, firing bullets in all directions. While he's spinning, he gets a damage reduction as well as damaging any enemies within his radius. Despite being a damage dealer, Sarge can stay close to the front of the fight. He shouldn't be pushing past the tanks frequently because he does have a limited health pool, but he has the abilities to dive in, cause lots of disruptive damage, while remaining fairly safe thanks to the damage reduction of Suppressive Fire. If Sarge is playing right behind his tanks, he can focus fire the same targets, using their higher health pools to soak up the incoming damage while he melts through the enemy's health. Holding his regular fire on them as well as leading a cluster grenade, that, if aimed and timed perfectly to get the enemy both in the inner and outer explosion, can cause 225 damage in one shot. That's massive damage, especially on some of the squishier targets. Combine that with the ability to dive in with suppressive fire, and there's no wonder why Sarge is one of the most convincingly powerful damage dealers for new players and old players alike. Like all troopers, using his cooldown smartly will increase your success with Sarge. Cluster Grenade can and should be spammed to cause maximum damage whenever an opportunity presents itself, but suppressive fire can be used both as a way to close a gap in order to finish off a low health target, or as an escape method if you ever find yourself caught out alone or without enough dodge charges to avoid the incoming red team. Sarge has access to the damage passives, including Hunting the weak. Whenever an enemy within 30 meters has below 25% health, gain a 25% movement speed increase. In and out. Upon killing an enemy, replenish a dodge charge. Kill shield. Upon getting a kill, the trooper is rewarded with a 300 value shield for 6 seconds or until depleted. Subsequent kills within the 6 seconds add another 300 shields and the timer is refreshed. 1-2. Upon casting an ability, your next basic attack gains an additional 150 damage. The charge lasts for 6 seconds and is consumed on the next basic attack. Cannot proc again for 12 seconds. What's great about Sarge is any of these passives are usable just depending on how you like to play. If you like to dive in and out securing final blows, in and out can work great. If you, however, prefer to keep pushing and typically get caught out of position because of it, Kill Shield might be the answer to save your life. 1-2 can also lead to a lot of extra damage, but make sure that you're lining up that shot, because if you miss it, there's no do-overs. Sarge is a great all-around DPS player, and is for sure someone who's a great trooper to get yourself familiar with the game early on. He can fit a variety of playstyles, does a lot of damage, and has a decent sized health pool, so he can be a bit more forgiving than some of the other DPS players. Because of his positioning on the battlefield, he does have to be careful not to be the first one dove on though, because to the enemy team, the only good Sarge is a Sarge that's back in spawn. Any key pointers that I missed? Leave them in the comment section below. As always, thanks for sticking around and watching the whole video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you want to be kept up with the latest Super Squad content. Till next time, this is Bloomer, and I'll see you on the battlefield.